Hi there guys, it's Chris here with selfmadenewbie.com and in this video we're going to go through Content at Scale, which is a new content creation AI tool that is going to help you to create uh, content at scale, hence the name, uh, but that is undetectable by Google as being AI content. So before we get into it all, drop a like, subscribe and turn on the bell if you want to be updated uh, with new videos coming out. Also, stay around to the end because I have a special gift for you. Uh, that is gonna help you to get content at scale at a pretty nice discount. So here I am on the front page uh, of Content at Scale, and Content at Scale is very unique in that they are the first and currently only uh, platform targeting long form content in a way that's truly scalable and SEO and content marketing focused. Uh, that is also, as I said, not AI detectable. So tools like OnPage AI or Hugging Faces Free AI Detector cannot tell that the content produced using content at scale is AI content. You might not uh, be able to say that about platforms like Jasper or copy.ai. So the best way to show you what it's all about is probably just to jump right in and sort of take you on a walkthrough of what it looks like to create content. Uh, I've already played around with it a little bit and I was able to produce uh, this content here called the best over, over ear headphones. Um, but let's start from scratch uh, so you can see, you know, it completely in action. So the first thing we're gonna do is add content. Now, I'm gonna really put this to the test because I know with most AI platforms, it's actually quite easy to write something like a how-to post. Like if I went into, you know, any AI platform and I typed in, you know, how to cook roast chicken or something, it's probably gonna be able to pull a lot of information from around the web and put together a pretty decent um, you know, a bit of content. Uh, what I find is difficult though with most AI platforms is that they're unable to produce these top 10 kind of reviews. So whenever I am using an AI tool to produce top 10 lists, um, maybe I'm trying to make affiliate commissions through Amazon, I generally have to go to the Amazon page. I generally have to do a lot of manual work using the AI to reword certain functions and features about the product. So what I'm gonna do with uh, content at scale is to just try and produce that kind of content and see how well it does. So the first thing you do is you wanna put in the keyword that you wanna rank for. So I'm gonna try and target uh, best shotgun microphones. And then we're gonna give it additional context, which is optional, but the more information you can give, uh, the better. So just mousing over this information, this helps shape the post for this keyword in a way that you are wanting. Use context to give the AI topics to cover. All right, so we've got sort of a template here. Talk about how you can do X, the benefits, and what to watch for when doing Y. Okay, so you really just, giving a command to the AI. So I'm gonna say, give me the top five shotgun microphones. Talk about key features, pricing, and um, reco uh, recommendations. Okay, so this is usually how I set up my posts. I'll, I'll have like a, if I'm doing a top, top or best of post, I'll do like, you know, each thing that I'm reviewing and I'll do the key features, I'll do the pricing and I'll give a recommendation, like a bottom line, like who is this particular model for? Um, and that's what I'm gonna run with and see what it gives me. Now I can go to customize at the bottom here and this is going to give me sort of a, a brief. So it's already picked shotgun mics out for me. So I'm, I'm feeling quite confident. Um, if I click on one of these arrows, okay, it's already gonna give me like a bit of overview there. Um, add to keyword queue, so we can do this uh, if you want your content to uh, churn out and you wanna create multiple pieces of content, but we're just gonna get on with it and we're gonna create this content now. So one keyword has been added and it says check back in a few minutes. So that is exactly what we're gonna do. All right guys, so I'm back. I thought that was gonna take maybe 10 minutes and I could go make a coffee, but actually I came back, I refreshed it. It probably took about three minutes. So you can see it's created. There's a bit of an outline here, 32 paragraphs, 2059 words, 12 headings and now it says pending optimization. So we're gonna go into it and you can see here, this is the content. So it has given me 
sort of a table of contents here with the five best shotgun microphones. It's given me a f an FAQ and it's given me a conclusion. So it's sort of put some paragraphs together about the first one, this Rode video mic, and it's put together um, sort of a, oh, it's click to tweet uh, kind of section, which is pretty cool. So almost like a conclusion. And it's done the same for each one. And then down here, it's kind of given a key takeaway with sort of its recommendation. So we could um, connect this directly with our WordPress site uh, or copy in however you want. Now, what we can see over here is our optimization. So it's given us like an on-page checklist and it's also given us keywords that we should include. So if anyone's used tools like um, content.ai or Surfer SEO, uh, you'll be familiar with this. So it's recommending how much of each of these main keywords that we should include and it's put most of them in. The only thing we're missing is a featured image, which is fine. We can add that in when we put it into WordPress and we can adjust our paragraphs here. It says paragraphs are three sentences or less. So we can easily just go through uh, and adjust those. That's not even really that important. I like to keep my paragraphs two to three lines, not really two to three sentences, and I find that works quite well. So this stage of optimization is really you going through it and you know using this checklist on the side and um, you know optimizing it, and then coming through to here, and you can set that as uh, complete. Now, if we go over to brief here, we can see what other posts exist out there, so we can get ideas from that. And if we go to review, we can also request a plagiarism scam as well. And as you can see, our plagiarism scam is 0%. It's picked up basically on one of the names of the microphones, which obviously is going to be on different websites. So it's kind of confused there on what is plagiarism and what is just, you know, the name of something. So pretty happy with that. Um, I would challenge you to get better plagiarism results on a tool like Jasper or Copy AI. Now I'm just going to take you back and show you the content that I created yesterday when I was playing around with this. So this is best over ear uh, headphones. And again, similar kind of thing. It's created it for me. It does follow this kind of layout with each one, um, each one in the list and also the FAQ and then these key takeaway sections and final recommendations as well. So really happy with that. Happy with the word count for sure. Um, happy with the optimization. I might even run this through Grammarly and then run it through Surfer SEO just to make sure. Um, but it looks like it's very well optimized. You can see, um, this one is a little bit different. It wants me to add a tweet thing. Um, similar to the last post, it wants me to fix my paragraphs, um, an image added, which I can do inside WordPress, and then outbound linking, so put an outbound link as well. Now, if you have a tool like Rank Math in your WordPress blog, which is a free tool, uh, you know, you can, when you paste this into WordPress, obviously you can go through Rank Math and ensure that you've checked everything off there because Rank Math will also include you need outbound links. It will include you need a featured image. It will also include that you need to add alt tags to your images and things like that. So if you put all that together, um, you know, just or putting together your, the basic um, things that you do whenever you push out content, if you even know a little bit, um, you know, you've got yourself some quality content here and I can see this definitely uh, ranking. Now, if you've been using other AI content tools uh, like Jarvis, I'll put the link in the description to this post here and you can see a direct comparison between uh, Jasper and Content at Scale. Um, and they're really quite different. Here it gives a quick description. Uh, Jasper is world-class for if you're looking for copy, ads, YouTube video ideas, or you want sort of um, a helping hand in your content, like fleshing out content. Content at scale is gonna give you long form blog content at speed, from finished draft to published article, and also a lot of optimization in there as well. So it's really, one thing is helping you, and one thing is literally doing all the work for you. So here's a pretty cool table as well on this post. It shows you a comparison of what you can expect. I think Jasper is a good comparison because it is the market leader. Other tools do kind of follow uh, what Jasper is doing. Uh, and you can see that content at scale is actually quite different. Now I use Jasper quite a lot. It still usually takes me about an hour to push some content out. Uh, content at scale, you know, it took me about three to five minutes to create that content, maybe less. Uh, so what I would do is put that in my WordPress blog um, and then run it through Rank Math, add a couple of images and it'll probably take me, you know, another five minutes. Another one is the undetectable AI writing that you saw there. 
Uh, we ran it through the plagiarism test and it hit, it got a 0%. And if you go down this post, it gives you more differences. Template versus quality and focus. Another difference is an AI writing versus an AI writer. Content focus, end-to-end -end publishing focus. I think this is the main one. As I said, one is going to help you, one is going to actually do the work. One is going to replace a real writer from start to finish. Another big one is content at scale, uses three AI frameworks, whereas something like Jasper only uses one. And I think that's where the, um, the uniqueness of the content and the fact that it's not detectable that's where it essentially comes from. Jasper, it's also very difficult to get it to produce long form content, even if you use their new workflow feature uh, or they have a new chat feature as well. It generally produces content around, I don't know, three to 700 words, which if you are doing content, if you're a content marketer or a blogger, you know that's not really enough. I was talking about Rank Math before and the requirements that Rank Math has. Um, if you use Rank Math, for example, uh, usually it's looking for, you know, 1600 words plus in order to give you that green tick saying that your content is the right length. So Jasper is not really producing the length of content that is good for your SEO either. Now this post is quite a long one, so I would recommend going through it. I will put that in the description for you as well so you can check it out and weigh up the differences between content at scale and Jasper and generally uh, every other AI writing tool. So at the beginning of this video, I said I have something for you. And what that is, is if you click the link in the description and go through to content at scale and you sign up, you'll actually get 20% more credits than if you just went through to that site through to the site directly. So do ensure that if you want to check out content at scale, that you do go through that link uh, in the description. All right, guys. And also, if you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comments. I do reply to everybody. And if you found value in this video, drop a like, subscribe. I'll see you on the next one. Take care.